Whenever we browse raw images in Bridge, we generally are selecting one of those to open up into Adobe Camera Raw to be edited. Now I'm going to do that off camera to save quite a bit of time. Now down the right hand side here we can see all of the edits that I put within this image. In fact I've done one or two others too via the masks. Now what we would generally do here is open this image up into Photoshop. Now once we've done that we may do one or two other small edits in Photoshop but then we would be saving the image as a finished piece of work. This isn't the object of the exercise, so let's assume we've done that, and I'm going to close this down. Now I want to go back into Photoshop's Bridge. One way to do that is File, Browse in Bridge. Now you can see that the thumbnail reflects all of the changes that we created in Adobe Camera Raw. And you can see from the symbols at the top right, it's telling me that it's edited, color, clarity, contrast, etc. But it's also cropped. Now the changes we see reflected in the thumbnail are all saved automatically for us. We don't have to turn anything on or do anything for this to happen. But there's going to be times where you may want to remove all of those edits you may want to try a different tack. Now to do that here, I can select the image, right click, I can go to develop settings, and I can clear the settings. And it'll remove everything, all the crops, any of the masks that we've applied, and any of the color, clarity, and contrast. But for the moment, I don't want to do that. We do have another option here, and that option is to duplicate the image. So let me do that. And of course, because we've duplicated the image, it's given it a separate name. It's put the word copy here. But now if I did want to remove those settings, I can go ahead knowing they're safe in the one to the right. So let's do that again. Right click, develop settings, clear settings. There we are back to our basic raw file. Now I have a batch of images here taken at a place called Sturmers Creek on the Sunshine Coast of Australia and they were taken all at the same time or more or less. So what we can do here, if we are happy with the colour, contrast and clarity of this first image, then what we could also do is right click, choose develop settings and copy those settings. Then I could select one or as many of these images as I wanted. I could right click again, choose develop settings and choose to paste them. Now in this dialog, it's giving me a couple of options. In most cases, I just go ahead and click OK. Because the ones that are not ticked are geometry, a crop, the healing brush and masking because it's unlikely I'm going to want exactly the same masks in this image as the one we can see hidden down here. It's unlikely, well maybe not so much and we'll come back to the healing brush in a moment, but it's unlikely I'd want to crop every single image the same. But if I did and I had a need, I'd just tick those boxes and the same with the geometry, the straightening of horizons, those leans we see when we photograph buildings. But here, I'll just click OK. Now, as we see all of those thumbnails and the images, if I open them up into Adobe Camera Raw, reflect the changes I made in the first image, we can either accept them as they are or we could use them just as a starting point. So we could take most of those changes and maybe fine tune them for the images we want to produce. Now here we're looking at a different batch of images taken at a different time. Selecting just one of them for the moment, I'm gonna open this up into Adobe Camera Raw because I want to zoom in 
to show you that this has got a couple of dust spots. It's got one there I can see, one there I can see, and one there. Of course, if I select the healing brush here and switch on to visualize the spots, there we can see not only the ones that are clear to see, but there's probably one there, one there, one there, and a little anomaly there, and maybe elsewhere in the sky. Well, what I'd like to do here is to just deal with these three that we can see with our own eyes without looking to visualize the spots. So I'm just going to reduce the size of my brush, give it a tap there, give it a tap there, and give it a tap there. Now what I can do is rather than open this up into Photoshop, I can click Done. What's going to happen is we come back to Bridge automatically, but this thumbnail now reflects the changes that I put within it. Because I know that the dust spots that I can see here, I'm going to be able to see them here, 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 and probably in most of the rest of the images. But certainly, let's take a look at this one here. I'll quickly open that. And there we can see the dust spot and the other two will be up there. Let's cancel that. So what I could do here is to select this one, right click, develop settings, copy settings. Then if I wanted to transfer those settings to one or a number of images, I can select them, right click, develop settings and paste settings. Now I haven't actually made any changes to the color and the clarity, so I don't even have to worry about any of those ticks, but I do want to include the healing. I'm gonna click OK. Now let's select this one. I'll double click. And if I zoom into that corner, there we can see all of those dust spots have been dealt with by just dealing with them on one thumbnail alone. Now that could be useful to many photographers if your sensor is coming up to the time when it really needs a clean. But just before we end this section, let me go down to one of these images. Now these are completely different images, but they're shot at the same place. So what I'm going to do here is right click the one on the right and well, better still, I should really open this up into Camera Raw first because I've got to show you that in fact, this has got the same dust spot. And of course, because the dust spot is on the sensor and the other two, that the problem we've got is that they're all in the same place. They're going to be on the same place irrespective of the image. So right click, develop settings, paste the settings, healing, okay. There we can see the little symbol saying it's done. But when I double click, not that I need to do this, but I can see that the repairs have been put right. It's obviously important if you're going to use this option to make sure you do a really thorough job of the first image. And then you can deal with all of the others automatically. I'll see you next time.